Are you enjoying your life? Yes. Are you happy that you are alive today? Yes. Do you wake up in the morning, sit up and say, Thank you, Lord. Buhay pa. Do you do that? Yes. Or are you part of the millions of Filipinos who wake up early in the morning and say, Aray na po. Palakang ko. Ulo ko. Sana hindi na ako nagising. Maraming tao, they just live, but they don't enjoy life. Our hope is that when people take our products, yung hindi na nakakabangon, nakahiga lang, makakabangon na. Yung bumabangon lang, makakatayo na. Yung nakatatayo lang, lalak. At yung naglalakad lang, sasakay ng gym. <laughs> Tumatakbo na. Better quality of life. Hindi ibig sabihin ng optimum. Kung ma-improve lang natin yung nararamdaman nyo, then it's worth it. Second, our goal is not just to help people with their physical aspect. The second word here is holistic. Spiritual, emotional, mental, and physical well-being. Dapat buong tao. Most people may be physically well, but are mentally and socially ill. They're paranoid. Tignan mo sila. Bakit ang tingin? Mahinit ang ulo ka and they are playing high blood. Di ba? They're not healthy. Dito, I would like you to be healthy, body, mind, and spirit. And that the journey towards health is a daily journey. Health is not a finish line that you reach and say, Tadaan! Nandito na ako sa finish line. Healthy na ako. No. Health is a daily journey. A daily struggle. And in order to win that battle, you need three or four things in your life. Number one, you want to be healthy all the time, you start having positive attitude. That's number one. Take away your negative energy. Positive mind and heart. Diba? Kaya dito in DXN, ang body natin ay always kahit hapon, kahit gabi, Ay cutting gabi. Kasi paalala yun eh. Pag nalulungkot na yung tao, good morning, napapangiti. Hope. You know, we have studies. Many science scientists have, have found out that the number one killer today in this millennium is no longer a bacteria. At the start of the millennium, the number one killer was tuberculosis. But towards the end of the millennium, the number one killer is Di ba? Agree? Yes. Nako, stress kills a lot of people. St stress makes people worry a lot, enough worry enough to produce ulcers, hypertension, and yes, even cancer. Di ba? Kausapin mo yung mga kay kaibigan nyo kayo. Pare, kamusta ka na? Eto, buhay pa. Ganun na lang eh. Parang hirap-hirap sa buhay. Stress. Eh bakit naman hindi maraming stress sa Pilipino? Eh ang dami niyang... Itong sakit ng Pilipino. Utang ay is. Dami ang utang. Eh di ba? Eh noong unang parang nung binabayaran lang ng, ng tao eh, tubig, kuryente, upa sa bahay. Eh bakit ngayon meron pang cable, credit card, telepono, IDD, NDD, DDD, ano ba yan? Color waiting, color forwarding, color whatever. Tapos, hindi pa yung may hinuhulugan pa. Tapa. Smile a lot. Di ba? Look at the people who are sick. Karamihan na may sakit. They're so hopeless. They're so down. Kamusta ka na? Eh, turo sana na matay na ako maggabi. <laughs> Tapos, papasok ka. Remember, every DX and distributor is a giver of hope. You go and knock at their door, and you say, Naku, Mare, today is a wonderful day for you. Bakit? Meron akong tulong na nabibigay sa inyo. RGG. Gumaganda yun? Ngingiti sila, Naku, may pag-asa pa pala ako. Kaya dapat bawa sa inyo, matuto magbigay ng positive energy. Alamin nyo naman yung produkto. Hindi ikaw mismo, distributor, hindi mo alam kung yung produkto, pupunta ka rin, kakatok ka. Naku, Mare, may sakit ka pala. O, ito, ay namin mo. Ano ba ito? 
Ewan. Gagaling ba mo diyan? Baka. Basta inumin mo. Sigurado mo diyan? Maybe. Ano ba yan? Ikaw ba ang dala ng negative energy? Come on. Good morning is a positive way of reminding, di ba? That there should be positive energy in DXN. So yung mga naman si Mangot? Tagalan yung negative energy. Of course, number two, we've got to change our lifestyle. Somebody asked me, you know, many years ago, or months ago, Doc, if your product is so good, I will not stop my vice. Di ko nitigil yung aking palinigurilyo. I'll keep on doing it, and I'll keep on doing it, and I'll just drink your product. At mawawala yung buko. Challenge. So, but take it, take it. Ang gamot, ito ko hindi gamot, hindi ito ang RGGL po, hindi bato ni Darna. Na ilululuon mo, susubo mo, lululuon mo sa sigaw, Darna! Bukas magaling ka na. No, no, no. It's a food supplement that cleanses our body. But if you don't stop dirtying it, the work of the RGGL will never be finished. Do we get the point? We have to subscribe to healthy living and healthy eating and food. Supplements. Yan po ang nabibigay sa atin ng victory over illnesses. And the road of health requires these four things. So pagka yung nag-recommend na ng RGGL, huwag naman yung puro RGGL lang. Paano ba ako magaling? RGGL. Paano ba wala high blood ko? RGGL. No! You also recommend positive value. What else? Change your lifestyle. What else? And then RGGL. So many people come back to us and say, wala naman po ito yung RGGL. Hindi na wala yung high blood ko. Bakit? Umiinom ako ng RGGL. Tumigil ka ba ng pagkain ng chicharon? Kailangan ba yun? No. Kailangan eh. Subscribe to all four to have your goal of health. Alright? All the XM distributors should know this by mind and by heart. Do you agree? Yes. So ano kailangan? Positive attitude. What else? Nutrition and? Alright. Wonderful. Now, bakit nagkakasakit ang tao? Let me just talk to you about this. Okay? Ano bang, pagka, ano bang dahilan kung bakit nagkakasakit ang tao? I have studied for many, many years. To become a doctor of medicine, you have to study for at least 10 years. And I have been studying for 15 years. And after so many years of studying, I am still perplexed. I still scratch my head. Ano nga ba Until I learned about natural medicine. And in natural medicine, it simplifies things. The one of the main reasons why we get sick is an entity called Greek word Galing sa Greek word ng ibig sabihin, poison. At ano ang toxin? It is anything that is in your body that should not be there. That's how I define it. Anything that is in your body that should not be there. Hindi dapat na riyan. Poison yan. And there are two kinds of poisons. I call this the living poisons and the None. Living poisons. Ano ho yung living? Ay, alam nyo na yun. Virus. Bacteria. Fungi. Bulate. Parasite. Sa takloban ho, meron isang matandang mama. Payat na payat, namumutla at nag-iingalo na. Ang sabi ng mga anak, naku si tatay, aalis na yata. Sa takot nila, kumuha sila lang isang mug. Nilagyan ng 3-in-1 coffee. Nilagyan ng black coffee. Nilagyan ng spike tea. Nilagyan ng RG, GL. Siyampo na lang ang kulang. Nilagyan ng mga tubig. Pinainom sa tatay. Within two hours, the father began to vomit and expelled two very large very long Ascaris worms. Pero asong normal yung tatay? 
Ilan pala ang Thailand? Bulati. Kala niya ba bata na nakakabulati? Matanda rin ho. Delimit or not, ilan sa inyo rito? May inaalagaan. Baka sawa pa. <laughs> These are toxins. And every day, they are here to see to it that your life will be miserable. Thousands of bacteria and viruses invade, invade you every day. Now, meron din non-living toxins. Ano yun? These are chemicals that we find in nature. Chemicals that touch us. Sabon, lotion, cream. Ano ba yung mga pinapahit niyo? Sa ano? Sa katawan niyo? Lahat yun. Or chemicals that you inhale. Lead. Tampucho. Carbon monoxide. Di ba? Polluted air. And speaking of polluted air, alam niyo ba ang Metro Manila ang second worst polluted city in the world? Do you know that? You know, when I started to give this lecture, Metro Manila was number four. But congratulations, fellow Metro Manilans. We are now promoted to keep it up, we will be <laughs> And do you know what that means? It means this. A scientist compared it to something like this. Sabi niya, if you are going to travel from Monumento to Baclaran, and you're going to pass through EDSA, and you're riding a vehicle, a bus, na walang aircon, you will be inhaling polluted air equivalent to three packs of cigarette. Ha? Huh? imagine that? Ipabalik pa kayo. So, ilan? Six packs. Kaya pagdating nyo sa bahay, inspection ninyo yung ilong nyo, kulay itim ang residue. Malangis ang mukha nyo. That is how dirty the air is in the Metro Manila. And if you don't believe me, see. See it for yourself. Go to Antipolo at 6 o'clock in the morning and look down at Ortigas and you will see dirty smog covering Ortigas. Kaya I always tell people, don't jog in the morning. Because if you jog in the morning, come on, <sighs> lahat yung pasok sa baga. No wonder, at number one sakit ng Pilipino, ubo, sibon, sinusitis, and rhinitis allergy. Now, kung akala nyo marumi na sa labas, hulaan ninyo, alin ang mas maruming hangin? Sa labas ng bahay nyo o sa loob ng bahay nyo? Alin ang mas marumi ang hangin? Sa labas o sa loob ng bahay? Sino sabing sa labas? Taas kamay. Sino kayo mga yan? Nakamera kayo. Sino sabing sa loob ng bahay mas marumi ang hangin? Sino mo lang masabi? Ano pa naman kayo? Mas marumi sa loob ng bahay dahil lahat siyang dumili ang bit-bit nyo araw-araw. Mabuti pa sa labas, umuulan, nahuhugasan yung dumi. Sa loob ng bahay nyo, umuulan. Tumutulo siguro. Hindi mo ulan. So where does all this dirt with small mites, that's called dust mites. And this is why children, our children, by they wake up, pahing lang pahing. Do you get the point? These are toxins. And there are toxins that we drink and eat, like the preservatives that you find in your food. Ano ba? The, the wonder of all this is yung, yung juice na nasa sachet or sa pack, sa tetra pack. Yung orange juice does not contain orange. Pati yung kulay niya peke. Kulay peke, lasa peke, lahat peke, puro preservative. And we let our children drink that daily. So they grow up with, full of? And you know what? The good thing about this is your body will always take care of you. The body has been given by God a gift. It's called the inner doctor, the inner healer. Meron kang doktor sa loob mo eh. Hindi ka lang gumarado sa UST. Pero galing sa, sa Lord, kay Lord yun. And that, that doctor within you will try to protect you from any harm. And this is how that doctor does it. I'm going to show you. Ito diagram na. Every part of your body is made up of a cell. That's you. But to protect you from toxins, 
The body has barriers or a series of walls. Maraming wall yan. Dingding. Para hindi makapasok ang toxin. At ang unang dingding o wall na bumabalo sa atin ay your skin. You are covered from skull to your soul. Skin. Para dyan lang sila sa labas. Pero ang dumiho, yung toxin does not only it's not only in contact or in touch with you through your skin. Meron ding duming nalalangha. Tama ba? So ito rin, from the tip of your nose hanggang sa baga, meron ding barrier. But not the skin. That barrier is a tissue, a piece of tissue called mucosa. Let me just draw that. A single layer tissue called Mucosa. And the mucosa of your respiratory tract, konting science lang ha, para alam niyo, mamaya ma-appreciate nyo ito. May buhok yan. Di ba? Iba-iba lang signs. Dito, lalaki ng buhok. Pero hapang papasok yan, palihit ng palihit. When what is the purpose of this hair? Para saan yung buhok? Pansala filter. So that when you inhale dirt, hindi diretso sa baga, sa habit mo na yan dito. Sumasakabit. At pang nasabit na yan, si mucosa magluluwa, maglalabas ng isang malagkit na tubig para ma-paralyze yan, hindi na siya bababa. Madidikit na siya dyan. At ang tao sa tubig na yan ay mucus, galing sa mucosa. Sa Tagalog? Ha? Sipon. Alright, sipon pa. Huwag hindi pa problema yan. Sipon! At pag nag-drop na sila ng sipon, this hair will start to move. Gagalang. At ipapasa niya yan, dumi na yan, yung package na yan, pabalik, kung saan ito nanggaling. So yung dumi na drop dito sa loob, umaakit yan, hanggang dito. Eh pagating naman dito, hindi naman pwedeng lumakad mag-isa yung dumi. Sabi, uwi na ako. So, kikilitin niya yung reflex dyan sa loob. Makakati yan. And then you will sneeze. When we sneeze, we blow back into the environment thousands of mucus droplets carrying with it the dirt that you inhaled yesterday. That is called a reflex action. And that's the doctor within you trying to expel the dirt. Dito minsan, dito pala, gusto na ilabas. So, uubuhin ka. Paglabas doon, pagdahat mo may? Plema. Plema. Ito na lecture natin, no? Sipon plema. <laughs> Alright. Now, pagka minsan naman, yung dumi na yan, ho, eh, nagkukumpul-kumpul. Dumak si sa Metro Manila, eh. Kaya hindi lang isa yung na-trap dyan, marami. Can we do something about this, Mike? Alright? At dahil maraming na-trap dyan, naging malapot. Kumain na ba kayo? I hope kumain na kayo, ha? Dahil ba yung pag-uusapan natin? Malagkit. Malapot. Hindi na maitulak ng buhok. So they are stuck in the mucosa. And they become very itchy. At ubo ka lang ubo, ayaw lumabas. Kaya ubo mo hindi nawawala. Do you experience that? Yes! So what do we do? Ha? You cannot put your finger and take it out. This is the time when you take, you should be taking a mucolytic agent. At ano nang kilala niyo mucolytic? Ha? Rubitusin. Water is one of the most powerful mucolytics. And number two, advertisements spica A. This contains five herbs, but three of them are powerful mucolytics. Pinalulusaw yung mapalapot, malagkit na flema. So pag uminom kayo nito, after a while, uubuhin kayo. Ibig sabihin nun maluwag na. Yung ubo nyo ngayon, may tulog na. Para lumabas yung flema. So pag umuubo ka at sinisipon ka, huwag mong pipigilan. Tutulungan mo. Because coughing is a reflex of the body. 
The body is trying to get rid of this dirt. Can you imagine that? Galing, no? Wonderful. Minsan naman ay lululun yung dumi. Ay, di play. Iba naman ito. Do you play man na rin? Gusto nyo? Sundan na natin. At marumi na lulun mo, maiirita ngayon yung mucosa ng stomach mo. Resulta? Vomiting. Vomiting is another way of the body trying to get rid of that dirt. Pero minsan kung konti lang yung toxin na pumapasok, hindi masyadong na iirita yung mucosa, nakalulusot pa yan sa large intestine. At doon naman siya maiiritate. So doon naman siya magsusuka. Dito naman sa kabila. Sumusuka. And it's called? Diary. Again, that is the body's attempt to expel or get rid of? Do not stop them. Just take a lot of water with electrolytes so that you do not dehydrate. Imagine this. Look at the child. Tatlo ang klase ng karaniwan sakit ng bata. Brushes. Ano pa? Ubusipon and suka. Ano yun? This is a child's way of getting rid of toxins. Do not be afraid. Many of you mothers, pag nakakita sumusuka, takbo ka ba sa ER? Di ba? Tapos makikita nyo kayo rin ang papainom ng pedya. Tapos kung magsisigili pa kayo ng doktor, 1,000. Ako naman ang painom ah. Di ba? Sa ER kayo. Parang metro ng taxi yan. Pag sumang pa ka dyan, pumapatak na yan. Huwag nyo nandarin, kayo naman painom. Alam nyo na kung bakit sumusuka, dumudumi, nakakarashes, inuubo, sinisipon. The child's inner doctor is trying to get rid of wonderful. Kaya sila mas madalas magkasipon, hindi kaysa tayo, di ba? Dahil sila maganda ang inner doctor. And these toxins will daily attack us. Some of them never get passed by the barrier. Some of them attack the barrier. And when they do that, they are going to be met by white blood cells. Yung, do, yung uh, guards ng ating katawan. Our immune system. And they will have a fight in that area. And mamamaga yung area na yan, mamumula, kakapal. And we call that? Inflammation. It means there is a battle going on. So when your toxins strike the barrier, this barrier called skin, magkakaroon niya lang, mapamaga. And we call that rashes. Or the technical term for that is dermatitis. Pag namamaga, lalagdagan niyo na ng itis, no? Pag namamaga ang appendix? Pag namamaga ang skin? Is dermatitis. Right? Or sa English, rashes. Sabi nila, yung mahirap daw at saka yung mayaman, iba ang tawag sa dermatitis. Pag mayaman, uy, may rashes ka. Allergy. Pag mahirap, galis. Buni. Diba? So, pag tinanong kayo, uy, anong meron sa'yo? Kung sabihin galis, rich tayo eh. Rashes. May rashes ako ha. Pero pareho lang yun. Okay, next. Pag nalanghap mo yung toxin at yung mucosa ng loob ng ilong mo ang namaga, babahing ka ng babahing, magkakaroon ka ng running nose. Now, what do you call that condition? Rhinitis. Rhino means horn. The Greek word is rhino horn. Kaya ito, rhinitis. Ang inatake yung mucosi ng lalamunan mo, paglulun mo, masakit. Ano tawag doon? Ha? Pharyngitis. Hindi pa kito matama ha? Okay. Next, sa dami ng bisita niya sa doktor, hindi niyo pa alam ha? Ang inatake yung mucosa ng voice box mo. Eh, minamalat ka ngayon. Hindi ka makapagsalita. Ha? Very good, laryngitis. Now, now you're getting it. Yung mucosa ng main highway ng hangin papunta sa baga ang namamaga. And this is called the bronchus. 
Yung lungs ang namamaga. Ano? Ito po yung lungs. Invento yata kayo, hindi ko nabasa yun ah. Pneumonia! Or pneumonitis. See? Nalulun at dumi. Namamaga ang mucosa ng stomach. Suka ng suka ang pasyente. Diagnosis? Gastritis. Galing. Pwede na kayo mag-doktor. Ilang pinag-aaral lang kami sa medisin. Pag ganyan-ganyan lang. Okay? Namamaga yung large intestine. Diarrhea. Anong tawag doon sa? Ha? Enteritis. Colitis is a very particular area. No? So parehong sumusuka, parehong dumudumi. Gastro. Enteritis. Kaya tinanong yung doktor yun. Sumasakit ko ba dyan? Opo. Sumusuka ba? Opo. Dumudumi ba? Opo. Gastro. Enteritis. See? Now, marunong na kayo. But again, these are what? Toxins attacking the barrier. In some cases, they still don't get inside your body. But in others, they pass through. They are going to break through the barrier. And when they do, before they go to the cell and do some damage, they will first go to, an, to the area around the cell. Right? The area, there is an area around the cell. And that area around the cell is full of fluid. Not necessarily water, no? but primarily water. Okay? Parang island siya. Paligid ng tubig. At yung fluid na yan contains many nutrients na pagkain ng cell. The nutrients in the fluid feed the cell. And the, the waste product of the cell is excreted to the fluid. Dr. Arnold Pissinger, father of modern histochemistry, gave that fluid space a name, the matrix. Matrix is the Latin for mother. Sabi niya, yan ang nanay ng cell. Yan fluid din nag-aalaga sa cell. Pinakakain, tinatanggal ang dumi. And you know what? Your toxins will go directly to the matrix. Initially, no symptoms. But as the toxins begin to multiply and the toxins begin to accumulate, then they will eat, kakainin, yung nutrient sa fluid. Magubutong si cell. Number two, si cell cannot excrete its waste product anymore kasi crowded din. Eh. So naiiwan niya sa loob ng cell. Then the cell begins to suffer. Wala pang sakit, but it's suffering already. Then you will start feeling symptoms na pagkakinuha yung dugo nyo, elexay kayo, inisigi kayo, lahat normal. But you feel these symptoms. What are the symptoms? I'd like you to pay attention because I know some of you experience these symptoms. Number one, you feel tired. Pagod ka na. Madali kang mahapo. Sa tanghali, antukin ka. Dapat mamata niya? My USD professor would always say, there are two kinds of students I don't like in my class. Those who talk, and those who untalk. <laughs> so which is it? How many of you, pagka tinatanghali, parang ang bigat, bigat ng mata. Pagsakay sa jeep, pagbayo sa driver, mama bayad. <laughs> Sarap pa ng tulog. Buti na lang, alam niya kung saan bababa. Kahit nakapikit yung katawan, marunong bumaba yung katawan mo. Dahil pag marapit ka lang bababa, gigising ka, mama dito na ako para. Di ba? How many of you mothers would tell your, your children, matulog ka ng tanghali ha, kundi hindi ka lalaki? Kasi totoo lang, matutulog ba yung mga bata? Sino tutulog? Lalaki! <laughs> Because the children are full of energy and the nanas full of toxin. <laughs> uh, tired, di ba? How many of you? Nahuhuli kayo ng mga misis nyo, nanonood ng TV. Tapos sa kalagitnaan na palabas, tulog. Pero pagkahawakan na yung remote, ops, 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 nanonood ako. <laughs> Weary, di ba? And you think it's old age? No, it's not. It is what? Toxin. Number two, kung masyado kang antukin sa araw, sa gabi naman, 
You don't have a coma. You toss, you turn, you cannot sleep. Insomnia. Di ba? Alas 4 na, tumitila ako na yung manok. Gising ka pa. Sana sinabayan mo na lang yung manok. Insomnia. What else? Poor memory, poor concentration. How many of you mothers, pag, pag, tumatawag, pag tatawagin nyo yung isang anak nyo, nagro-roll call muna kayo ng mga anak. Pag nyo ma maalala yung pangalan ng anak nyo, Pedro, Esteban, Maria, Jose. Di ba? Halika na rito, hoy! Halika na rito. O, oh, paborito nyo yung uh, kataga, eh, dito ko lang nilagay yun, ha? Dito ko lang pinatong yun, ha? Sana nga ba yun? Alam ko, tinago yun, eh. Yun! Makakalimutin. Di ba? Tapos pag binigyan mo ng pera, nakakalimutan na nabigyan ng pera. Pero pag may utang, hindi makakalimutan. Alright, next. Lethargy means you don't have the drive. You wake up in the morning and you're bored. You don't want to do anything. Diba? You drag yourself to work. You don't have the creativity, the energy for anything. Next. Uy! Pain. 80% of the women I see in my practice complain of low back pain. Balakang masakit. Sino ba yung guilty rito? Number one. Number two. Migraine. Number three. Arthritis. Kaya baba tapa pero pag gumising hindi na may tapa kayo. Iko. Aray ko, aray ko. Pain. Right? Mm. Next. Irritability. May kaya ang pasensya. Mainitin ang ulo. Ayaw ng mga mahabang lecture at mga doktor na matadaldal. Tapos na ba yung doktor na yan? Ang init naman dito. Gusto ko na umuwi. Wala kang trianda to. <laughs> Hindi ba? Ayaw ng mahabang pila. Ayaw ng mga bata tumatapos sa paligid nila. Irritable. And so many people are like that. Di ba? So many wives wake up in the morning, <laughs> bunga nga na kagad. Ang oh, mga mister. Pag yung misis ka nagsasalita, nagbubunga nga, Alalahanan niyo, honey, marami ka na naman toxin. <laughs> Hindi ka na naman nag-RGGL. Kaya mainit na naman ang ulo mo. Relax, honey, ha? Ang puso mo. Di ba? Irritable. Iyaan. Mister, come on. Ah, and this is common actually sa women. I, we hear a lot of, I hear a lot of women complain, no? Parang malungkot ako. May problema ka ba? Wala. Nakaway ba kayo ni Mr.? Hindi. Pera, mayroon. Pero parang malungkot ako doon. Gusto kong umiyak. Gusto ko, I know some of you, or a lot of you are, malungkot. Gusto lang yung umiyak lang. Kaya mga Mr., pag nakating isang araw yung ang misis nyo, nasa isang sulog at umiiyak lang umiiyak, pabayaan nyo lang. At sabi mo lang, honey, Alam ko dyan ka masaya. Supportahan ka. Ito tissue. Di ba? And women don't understand why. But I know you are, you know who. You know what I'm talking about. Di ba? And next, functional imbalance. Di ba yung mga women? Yung bisita nila buwan-buwan, hindi na dumarating buwan-buwan. Pamisan-minsan na lang. Quarterly. Misan, semi-annually, semestral. At ang masakit nito, yung iba, nagpapakasyon na lang. Once a year, annually. Honey, siguro pakasyon na. Bakit? Bebisita na ako. You see? All of these are signs and symptoms that your cell is starting to get weak. Why? Because there are so many toxins that are interfering with its normal function. If you go to a doctor, you know, I'm a doctor of medicine, but most doctors I know, including myself, when we see all this, we just scratch our heads. Ano kaya problema nito? Stress siguro. Depress siguro. And when we give drugs, we give one for tiredness. One for, oh, ito para sa poor memory, posi like B. Para sa insomnia, tranquilizer, Lethargy, yeah, bigyan ka na ng vitamin, bigyan ka na ng pain reliever, bigyan ka na ganito, and you end up going home with lots of medicine in your hand, di ba? One for every two, every three, every four, every five, every six, every eight hours. When actually the culprit is just toxin. And 
if you don't do anything about that toxin, guess what? They will go inside the cell and do two possible harm. And this harm, itong karamdaman na ma matatamon nyo, ito yung kinamamatay ng marami. Number one, toxins can cause cellular mal malfunction or destruction. Your cells will no longer function normally. Example, cholesterol is a normal, normally occurring cell in the body. Actually, cholesterol is good for the body. Ang problema lang is this. The normal cholesterol just slides over the walls of your artery. Dumudulas lang yan. Madulas yan, hindi madikit. However, when a cholesterol cell is attacked by a free radical toxin, that cholesterol cell begins to be sticky, malakit. Then it will cling to the wall of your artery. If this is your artery, it will cling to the wall of your artery. Dindikit dyan. At babara ngayon yung cholesterol. Normally, dumudalas yan. Pero pag tinamaan ng free radical toxin, nagiging malakit, dumidikit. Then the body has to push this away. Result, hypertension. Subukan nyo kumuha ng hose. Lagay nyo sa gripo. Buksan nyo yung gripo. Di ba maganda yung daloy ng tubig? Then you put your finger at the hole Siguro, just to obstruct it a little bit. Konti lang. Not, huwag huwag yung takpan maputi. Konti lang. Ano mga pansin nyo sa daloy ng tubig? Lumalakas ang presyo, sumisirin. Yan ang nangyayari sa loob ng katawan ko. Hinahay ba? Unfortunately, when you go and see a doctor, the doctor may not deal with the obstruction. But we'll deal with the pressure that is pushing the obstruction. Ang gagawin niya, imbis na tanggalin yung kamay, hihinahan yung bukas ng gripo. Kanya na ginagawa ng anti-hypertensive. Pinapababa lang yung blood pressure, but it's not doing anything to the obstruction. Ano resulta? The obstruction will stay there for a long, long time. It will gather minerals called calcium. And as soon as it does, this is going to be cemented and will become permanent and as strong as your, your teeth. Permanent na yan. Yung high blood mo, hindi na mawawala. Kasi hindi inalis yung baray. Binaba lang yung pressure. That is a problem with normal medication. Kayo rin, pag ginagawa lang kayo, automatically, you go, di ba? I lower your blood pressure. You don't do anything about the cholesterol. It will stay there and become permanent. And if this artery happens to be in your heart, heart attack. Di ba? That is a problem. What else? Toxins do not only cause cellular malfunction that leads to chronic diseases, Toxins, unfortunately, cause cancer. Yung viruses, many of them. Yung mga may mga bukol-bukol, mga warts-warts, may mga mayoma, many of them are caused by viruses. What else? Yung ini-inhale natin na dumi, mga, mga toxic gases, can cause lung cancer. Do you know this? Toxins can cause cancer. And how many people close to you died of cancer? I have one, my own mom. And the reason why I'm in DXN is that natulungan yung mother ko ng DXN. Had I known that RGGL would help her, I would have been more aggressive. But it was too late. When I gave it to her, it only shrunk the bukol and took away the pain. But I did not give enough to extend her life. Many people die of cancer because of toxins. And the bad news is, all of us here, marami toxin. So what do we do about it? 
Ano ginagagawin natin dito? E di linisin. Ano linisin? Ino mo na sampu. Ano linisin? Well, there we go. The reason why we're doing this is because of this. We have discovered that the mushroom called Linshi or in Japanese, Rishi or Ganoderma lucidum contains many triterpenoids that act as internal cleansers. Kung sa labas, nagsasabong kayo, sa loob, ito ang sabon. Of course, hindi nyo nulunin ito para atos ko sa'yo. May ingredient ito na kapag ininom natin, it starts detoxification. How? I'll show you. When you take RGGL for the first time, this is how this is how detoxification works. Now, review, review. Toxins moved in from the outside to the barrier, from the barrier to the matrix, and from the matrix to the detoxification. Now, according to Herring's law of cure will proceed in the reverse order. Nung pumasok from outside going in, healing now will take place from inside going outside. So, when you take RGGL, the first thing that your body will do is the cells will expel the toxins inside or within it. Yung nasa loob ng toxins, iluluwa, ilalabas ng cell. Saan sila pupunta? Magbabalikan sa matrix. At pag bumalik sila sa matrix, then you will start again feeling symptoms of toxins in the matrix. Like tiredness. What else? Insomnia. What else? Pain. Lethargy. Irritability. Paglalabas ang ulit yan. So, lalapit sa'yo ngayon yung client mo, para yan ba yung binigay mo sa'kin? Uminom ako ng RGGL, imbis na gumanda ang pakiramdam ko, sumama ang pakiramdam ko. Naging antukay na ko ulit. Hindi ako nakatulog. Sumakit ang balakang ko. Tama? Natinig nyo na ba yan? Yes. Ano nangyayari sa kanya? Nandito toxify first phase. Niluluwa ng cell yung dumi sa matrix. Kaya bumabalik yung symptoms. So what do you tell your friend? What do you tell your friend? Tuloy lang! Continue! Diba? Naglilinis ka pa lang. So, pag nag-inom pa siya, the matrix will now push the toxins out to the barrier. Ano mangyayari pag yung toxina sa barrier? Kung dito lalabas sa skin barrier, Rashes. Rashes. Galis. Oh, bakit ako nang rashes? Ah, siguro allergic ako dyan. Ang masakit nito, pag yung kliyente natin, nung lumabas yung rashes, pumunta sa doktor. Now, hindi wala akong kagay sa doktor, doktor ako. Pero pumunta sa doktor, Dok, tignan nyo nga ito. Tataloy yun ang doktor. Ano yung huli mong kinain? RGGL ho. Ay, allergic ka dyan. Tama? Yes. Ano sabi ng doktor? Itigil mo na. So, tinigil ni kumari. Sa pupunta yung toxin? Babalik. Ano mga yan sa rashes? Oh. Ano sabi ni kumari? Oo nga. Allergic ako dyan. Allergy ba yun? Oh. As detoxification reaction. So, maganda niyan, subaybay mo si Kumari. Sabi mo kay Kumari, Mare, yung rashes na yan, rashes. <laughs> yan eh, lilipas din. Dahil kapag tuloy-tuloy mong ininom yan, ilalabas naman yan ang barrier back into the environment. And these toxins can go through the skin gate, the mucosa gate, the mucosa of your respiratory tract, kaya meron ko bosipon, rhinitis, or the gastrointestinal mucosal tract. Kaya may suka, dumi, diarrhea, constipation. 
You get the point? <coughs> the toxins are trying to get out. That's all part of detoxification. If the person within one or two weeks, it is mild and you don't have to worry about it. It's not secondary to RGGL, but it's your dirt going out of your body. Correct? Yes. Okay, matako. Now, pero lang kung payo. Kung bago pa lang ang pasyente, do not give them high amounts of RGGL. Yes. Start with the lowest possible dose. One pair. Ano yung sabihin nun? One RG. And one? Yeah. Every day. Huwag 10, 10, 20, 20, 30, 30. Dapat <laughs> <laughs> naglabasan lahat yan. Naku, matatara.